Railroad Preserver 2000 here, back again doing another video here, and in this video I'm currently out on the outskirts of Washington, Georgia. You can see the uh, airport there behind me, but I'm not here for a plane, oh no. Guys, I'm going to turn the camera around here. Guys, welcome. to the Callaway Plantation. I've already done all the videos, so this is pretty much the end of it when I've already gotten everything filmed. So if I can get all this stuff sent to my friend Jesse, I'll ask us if he edit this into the, into the uh, first part of the video, into the first video if he can. So yeah. See y'all later. Uh, the main hallway, 1869, is when this one was first moved in. He, Parker started building it probably before the Civil War. Everything stopped. Two bricks thick. He died after the Civil War, before it was finished, 1868. So his son and his wife moved in 1869. Nice big tall ceiling. Yeah. He can go up and they could open the doors and let the breezes go through. This is the grandparents' room or the visitors' room. Um, so they wouldn't have to do stairs. There's Wait. knobs on that. What bed. is the little stool there? Huh. That's a bidet. Huh. That is a French thing for washing private parts. But oh. when Mr. Calloway <laughs> went to France, the joke in France is if an American bumpkin comes over and doesn't know what it is, you tell him it's for washing feet. So we bring, <laughs> he buys it and brings it home. <laughs> And he says to his wife, look, it's for wash and feed. And she says, no, it's not. <laughs> it's for washing babies. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect for babies. Look yeah. at it. Yeah. Have you been to the museum in Tifton? Oh, a long time ago. I love it. Yeah, with the, the raked um, I, I, dirt and yes. yards. Yeah. I love the buildings that are there. It, this, when we first came up here or drove by, I said, you know, this room, they have a similar setup to Tifton. I need to go back there. Yeah. It's worth going to. Good. It's been 20 years since I was there, so <laughs> I like to see what it had become, that's for sure. Do you remember the French name of it? Yeah. Yeah. Now, isn't that just a happy woman? They were not taxed by closets, even though it says it on that placard out front. Miss Martha just loved her storage. She put a little plaque on every door and every closet, a number, and she kept inventory of everything in every room. Wow. Yeah. She was kind of OCD. I love the paintings. <laughs> They're pretty. Yes. And this is the gentleman's part and the ladies' oh, part. Hello, George. This is also the office for the, for the farm. And then the main dining room, that was the no children allowed adult dining Dinner party guy. Dinner party guy. Yeah. Who's the man in the painting? That is Brantley Mercer Callaway. He oh. was a cousin of theirs, a well-known preacher, and his daddy settled right down the road. Oh. And his son became a preacher also. Huh. And his daddy was a preacher. It's like religion runs in the family. <laughs> yeah, Baptist religion, yeah. Ah, an old, uh, is this an old phonogram? It is a graphophone, which Or predates, gramophone. Yeah. And it plays a wax cylinder like this, oh. and it winds up, it still works. The I've seen one of these in, I think, West Virginia, but I've never actually heard one. <laughs> this one works, but I'm hesitant to do it because we haven't been able to get this all the way on. Ah. We need to find a YouTube on how to do that. Um, well, but it does play. It does work. There has a whole box of these things. Well, I like the old, the antique music pieces. Yeah. <laughs> now, this one was by Edison. We have one yeah. upstairs by Columbia. Uh, well, they were competing, well, but by the time the phonograph came out, of course the phonograph took off, Edison got out of the business and the company <laughs> upstairs became Columbia Records. Yeah, and I think, and I think Edison was the first, because I know... Yeah, he was. I love the camera because it brings the color out of everything. It really does, look how pretty that is. Wow. Is this the man? That's Aristides. They called him Brother Airy. He was a Civil War veteran. 1900. He, that's he incredible. He got a silver, silver star, but he never would talk about it and never didn't even accept the silver star. His daughter. Well, 
At least someone in the family got it. Yeah, someone in the family. Here's the family in uh, 1884. 1884 and then around 1910. Pretty piano. There's a dresser there. And this is the original house, y'all. There's only, I think, a few buildings that were moved. But. Ooh. Now I wonder. Uh huh. So that's what that's for. Yes. First, grandfather clock I've seen where the front is not a glass cover door. Because. Pretty. Yeah. We don't want to in just a minute. This is one of the older ones, too. Skeleton in the closet? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> I thought as much. YOLO. <laughs> oh, here's some photos of the house. Old documents. Is that some kind of jack right there? I'm curious. I'm not sure. It looks like a press. I was going to ask him. Yeah, it might be. That might be what it was used for, but I don't know. I'll have to ask him. Maybe that's how they bounded it. Um, is this a book press right here? A manual book press? Yes, it is. Uh, the humidity would make the books curl. So they would put a bunch of books in and uh. flatten them out. And I bet you they did it all summer long. Yeah. Well, you got to preserve what you read, you yeah. know it. And I looked at a catalog for museum uh, equipment. They're still making book presses just like that. That's incredible. <laughs> They're probably not cast iron, however. Uh, hello, Edison. <laughs> Y'all want to come on upstairs? Yeah. Okay. And I'll go ahead and open up the kitchen for y'all. Okay, great. Right. 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 Now, it's not air conditioning. <laughs> Did you get the dining room done? I got it. But I'll get it again. <laughs> How old are those fireplaces are? I know, but one of them still has soot on it. Yeah. Hey, Mary, can you smell Mary? This is very good. I know. The only difference is the design, really. Oh, well, that is true. Well, where that kitchen would have been. Yes. Oh, well, you can tell it's hot up here, isn't it? It is. Now, I'm curious. Church seat? Church pew. Yeah. Huh. That's an old church pew. There's no telling where they got that. Oh, well, you can tell the wood's original. Missing a few uh, support. Spindles. Spindles, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Let me guess. To the attic? Yes. <laughs> or... What did it be a balcony? Oh, warped glass. That hand line. I'm, I always call it hand pressed. I should. I'm glad you corrected me on that. How big these rooms are. I'm guessing these are the two closets. Mm -hmm. Man, they did not make this like. They do not make things like this anymore. They don't even build houses like this anymore, sadly. They should get the Oh, yeah, and they looked at them on through my camera. I love it. Hang on. I don't want to open the closet because I'm pretty sure I can guess what's in it. Yeah, that's a scary closet. That's a scary closet. Yeah. Is the third floor like an attic? It is. And it's not forward all the way. So we've had some feet come through. Oh. It's the coffin closet. Oh. <laughs> now, now it would be a Christmas closet. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. That's ah, true. Yeah, spinning be. wheel for what that used to. Uh, yep. 
for cloth for dresses. I'm pretty sure to make dresses for making wool, uh, thread, yeah. yarn. Mm -hmm. And that bed has come back to us. That was um, Ethel's bed, and that's a picture of her with her dolly, Felicity's uh. daughter. <laughs> and the button comes undone on that bed so that the curtains can come down like um, skipping it. Ah, well, you need it down here. That's for sure. I know. And I see that our upstairs air conditioning is working. Yes. My stepfather works in the heating and air business, so if you need somebody to call, call him. I might. Well, I think I'll go, go with the really circuit breaker first. Yes, I got to do that. That is really interesting. Isn't it? Well, you know, we ain't a biotic. That's why. An old Underwood typewriter. I could probably unjam all the keys. Gramophone. All these old typewriters. This is incredible. Oh, yeah. See, two Underwoods and a... Blick and uh, something. Blick and Blick and Blast. That's some kind of German name. LB. There's a typewriter name here I don't understand. I recognize the Underwoods, but what's the company name on this one? Uh, you'd see it better through my camera lens. Blick and Death, sir. It's German. Well, then it's probably pronounced differently. This is an adding machine. Super, super light blue eyes and that extra fold underneath. And I thought, yeah. Callaway, I've seen Callaway's come through. Oh, they even have the ink ribbon. Western Union Telegraph Company. They didn't live in this house, but they were so shy. Just pretty. From all the old typewriters I've, I've messed around with before in antique stores, I know how to get the keys unjammed. Mm -hmm. You just move them around a bit till they're loose and they go right back down to their place. Mm -hmm. You say the trundle? Yes. Oh, I love the curtains. If only they'd bring these styles back at least. That'd be nice. Now, isn't he a happy gentleman? That's Seaburn, and he died the first year of the Civil War. 1861. He had children, so there are still Seaburn Calloways around. That name has yeah. been passed down. Well, Ella Ben, I always joke when we see these old photos because they were taken back when you didn't have to smile for every picture. Well, uh, yeah, in fact, they asked you not to because your smile would waver and it would look blurry. Uh, so they said, just sit there. Just sit there. <laughs> <Stay> still. <laughs> well, yeah. why not? Like 20 second exposure, so I was like, just don't smile, don't move. Sometimes I had a little well, brace. I noticed all of you know. And I saw my grandmother's and I thought, she was not a very happy woman because I never saw a picture of her smile. Then I found some snapshots. Oh, look at the dollhouse. Look at that. And they were messing around. Wow, they don't make them like that anymore. Look at that. This would have been the children's room. This would have been the antsy children's room. <laughs> Look at the dollhouse. They don't even yes. build stuff like that anymore. There's an old house on the way over here, which, and another family who used to own it used to hold parties in it, and the whole roof has since fallen in. But the oh. crazy thing is, all four walls are still standing. Yeah, the Hoban house. I know just what you're talking about. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is this a tub? It is. It was um, called a hips tub or hat box tub, and it was only for trying to bring down a fever, if somebody had a broken leg, or after childbirth, you know, just a quick little bath. Cause Every bucket that came up is a bucket that had to go out. I've seen a lot of these old typewriters in antique stores, and I've 
gotten annoyed whenever I see keys like that. If you move them around a bit, it actually untangles them. It does. It does. Of course, this I can understand. One of our oldest ones, and it was done like, look at the ball. A little, uh, yeah. IBM Selectric rather than individual keys. Yeah, keys, and it, yeah. And that's a German one, correct? I'm curious as to when it was... Birken, Birken something right there it is. Blixen Dörfer. Thank you. <laughs> I'll correct what you said. <laughs> even I can't pronounce it. Now, I don't speak, <laughs> and I don't even speak German. <laughs> Out of curiosity, does the key work? Yes, it does. Sorry, I can't resist. It is for, you know, we set up as a guest room so that, you know, guests could sleep and bring their children. And today the kids think that you bed them down and shut them back under. <laughs> They've not seen a trundle bed, right? <laughs> no, a few Davids have trundle beds, you know. Uh, I'll say this. I've wondered, have y'all been, have y'all found anything in the attic when y'all first had the house open to the public? Um, the coffins is what were in the attic. Oh. Yeah, they're okay. still there. And they're still there. Oh, okay. And we've since been donated this, that, and the other that has gone up there. If it's not period correct or not Callaway connected. It's stored up there? Right. Like ah. wheelchairs. Um, ah. Things like that. Um, which is, they're interesting, but they're not really part of. So I'm guessing that was a mirror for you if you were to admire your suit when you went out in the back in the day. Here, you can see the front door. Oh. So if it's not for you, it's a surveillance camera. That's right. An early surveillance camera. Yes, it is. <laughs> we're, and there's other um, plantations that have that configuration, so we're not the only one. Would y'all like to see the kitchen? I wouldn't mind it. Aren't allowed to go on the porch, front porch? We can open it, but we can't go on it because we've had water damage on the porch. Ooh, rot. Twice. I had it fixed once, and guess what? Yeah. Ouch. Oh, uh, he was a young man when he went into Civil War, was he? No, he had a bunch of kids uh, already, so his so line has continued. He's about 50 years old, almost. And his brother, Chinnett, his older brother, died the first year of the Civil War. God and his words, that's an old so Bible. Sir, uh, oh, that's a very big difference. I figured he probably would. Right, and they would keep that window open so they'd have the breezes coming. It'd over. be a break. And that's hence. why these hallways were also sitting areas, because if this is the way the breeze was coming, this is where they visited. Hence why it's called, also called a breezeway. That's right. <laughs> and it had more trees, and no runway, and no 78. That's right. Yeah. Do you mind <laughs> it? In the country. That's right. I know we can't go out here, but I do want to just... <laughs> Old handmade bricks right here, probably. And just look at the wood design. That's just this is why I like well, these. This is why I like these old houses. Just because the way they're built is just a lost art now. They don't build houses this grand anymore. I can't believe that this has lasted all this time. This, this, um, well, I know if you compare. Yeah. I mean, if you compare abandoned houses that have been built in modern day, they're hardly standing. Like there's not a lot of stuff left. Well, I'm not saying this one doesn't need help. In fact, there's well, a this one's underneath. It's totally deteriorated. They well, just got a grant, which means we're going to have to jack the whole house up, or at least that portion, to get that out and put a new beam in. Well, the house is probably got a crack left and right. So we have to redo it. Well, I mean, it, the, well, this shows just how well they built houses back then, because despite some of the wear, damage it's gotten due to age, it's still standing. It's like the yeah. other house. <laughs> Even if the roof, though the roof fell in, the four walls are still there. Yeah. I know some people that used to rent that house and live in it, and they kept trying to tell them the roof in the back is bad. It's going to get worse if it's not fixed. From what Ella B told me, she knew of the people who owned it originally, and from what she told me, they, they had put a tarp on it. That ain't going to save it. Right. It, it was the Paradise Hogan family, and nobody wanted to live in it because it was, it was pretty... It, it needed a lot of TLC, let's put it that way. Right. Well, it's, it's unrepairable now. I was hoping yeah. to try and film it, but that didn't work out. Just going to leave it at that. And I, can, I know why the kitchen's separate from the house, and so if it caught fire, it wouldn't burn the house down. They had this similar setup at the linen house. Now. It's the kitchen, the basement. No, that is just under the stairs. The basement is only under that room right there. And it's like a brick 
um, storeroom, and it has Dorothy doors. You know what I'm talking about? The the ones that pop open right, up along the right. side. So if there's a hurricane or a tornado, I'm it's going just, down the Dorothy door. It's basically a cellar. <laughs> it, it is, but it's only one room. It's kind of like a root cellar. It'd be worth checking out if, you know, y'all could get it stabilized. Oh, it's great. I've been down there. It is brick. And it's probably cooler. It is. Probably. And that's why they would put their um, hand goods. Well, I know I've been on Edisto where there would have been there was an old plantation, and only the the only building still standing is the ice house, and it has the same setup where the ice was lowered down beneath the floor. Oh, really? Yes. They did not have ice. They didn't have a uh, spring house in this Ooh, plantation. Wow. The trick was big meal before the sun came up. Big meal at eleven o'clock, uh, cooking during the cool of the day, and then leftovers at night. And if it wasn't eaten, it was given to the hogs. Start over the next day. This is a breadboard. Oh, my it has visiting people to come and pick with cotton. This is after the Civil War, so they paid them. But they would have they would camp out, pick, and then move on to the next family. Part of trip. the deal was you had to feed the breakfast and month. Yeah, we. So they'd be making about a hundred biscuits before the sun came up. I've heard uh, right at what memoirs where they would take the biscuits and put them in their pockets Ooh. heading out to the field with the sun rising so they can get it done. That's a nice little bird's nest. How many people will prepare this? Every year. <laughs> the birds go. Um, I don't know how many servants that they had, but I know that they did pay for servants because they got their cotton. Old box, hedges, an old cotton harbor. scale. I'm surprised they, they found that. England, old bricks. Which is what Robert Coons wanted everybody to do in Jefferson old Davis. Light. Now, well, England held on to it. You know, the Union the ruined everybody's cotton that went to the rocks. They just got burned or thrown in the bay or what is, or whatever. Is that a yellow jacket so or is that a big? Got, there's an England and the price of cotton is sky high. They're oh, here's one of the, uh, is this one of the pillars? Yeah, it is. That's amazing that they even have this still. Wow. Way to work the land wow. without paying for the labor because they would take two thirds of the crops and the land would not You can see the old clay plaster they would have had. This is all red clay, this ain't cement. See? You're supposed to be able, you know what it is? Yeah. You're supposed to be able to rock the baby and churn the butter at the same time, but I don't know how well it works. <laughs> <laughs> I have my doubts. And um, up there is a steam oven. They could Ooh. put water in the copper pan and the rack inside, they could put the vegetables there and put the whole thing on the wood stove and steam vegetables. Or do steam canning also. I think some of these china patterns still exist, or they're similar oh, yes, patterns. Oh, yes, it does. And the, the pattern itself started in the 1790s, and two different companies in England claimed that they were the first. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Still probably feuding over that to this day. That's right. <laughs> so it was a common kind of china pattern. And the brick floor in here is original. Oh, wow. I think this gives the Linden House a run for its money. But then again, they built it onto it as a huge, they built a huge art gallery onto it, so this is a bit of an improvement. The kitchen was out there for the help and everything, and they would just keep the family portion here and feed the family. It burned down twice, and they did not redo it a third time. So this became the kitchen. Um, so original floors, at least it didn't burn down. <laughs> yes. This is a crock pot. <laughs> yes. It is. It's yes. called a hot rock cooker. Have you heard Ooh, of it before? No, keep talking. Okay. <laughs> you could heat up this in the fireplace of the rock and put it at the bottom. And then put the raw food in the containers. And this predates 1860. It surprises me the aluminum was that, you know, far advanced at that time. And then they put another hot rock on top, bring it down and latch it. It's insulated with hay. They electrified them in 1860, so this predates that. And then you could let these fires go down and still have a six-course meal. One of my visitors said, oh, yeah, my grandma used that. She'd put in her beans on Saturday 
and after uh, church on Sunday, they were ready. That's could you tell them about, <laughs> tell them about your grandmother? She used to she uh, didn't she have the same sort of setup at one point? Yes, yes. Come see the gizmos. I, did you did you already see the ah. stuff in the kitchen? This would have been your dry goods storage or canned goods, if, canned goods or should I say jarred goods? Jar goods. This is um, apple peeler, cherry pitter, meat grinder. Meat grinder. That, the deer hunters love to see these because they're still using cast iron oh, meat grinders. Wow. Yeah. This one's a sausage stuffer right here. This would be for baby food. It's a ricer. Uh -huh. Wow. A small butter churn here, and the Amish still make this. This kind right. right here, I like this because it, you know, it's not the up and down kind. Of I've been right. to Pennsylvania where the Amish people are. Um, they would use a lot of wooden Wash utensils right. because if you use metal or cast iron, the heat goes right on up your hand. And what surprises me is this is a two pounder, six pounder, ten pounder, cast iron, and co solid copper. This is with nothing in it. Feel how heavy. Oh, wow. They built stuff that was durable. They built Thank it to last back then. But how strong those women Pay must those. have been. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And picking up children and all that good stuff. But yeah, they, they definitely had some, some uh, muscles. You didn't mess with the <laughs> <laughs> Now this, they would heat in the fireplace and put it into the batter and it would pop off and be a heart-shaped tart shell. Oh. oh. I want one of those. <laughs> um, moonshine was being put into regular jugs with a little thumb uh, oh, handle. Okay. Uh, but they okay, wanted to then. show how pure their product was. When home canning jars came out, they had the glass jar, the rubber gasket, a glass yeah. lid, and a wire thing to snap it down. Mm -hmm. And the lightning jar was called lightning because you could lightning fast seal it. <laughs> well, the moonshiners started using it. White lightning. <laughs> and according to Smithsonian, that's where the term... White lightning came because the first jars were lightning jars. See that oh, word right there? Huh. And we've got two lightning jars. I'm so proud. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a newfangled bread machine from the turn of the century with the directions right on the lid. If you can read. <laughs> <laughs> what is the white toast thing? That, that is a swing churn. Now, don't, don't. Like I said, I finally crazy, but my mom's dad work. still uses a wood stove for heat. He doesn't use it for cooking, he uses it for heat. It's, I think, a Fisher wood stove. I've cleaned the ash out of it twice for him. <laughs> oh, I live on Crawford W. Long Street. Delusion. So this would have diluted stuff. Hmm. That explains the jar. And there's a lever on the back where it kind of tilts down. But I don't know where you'd stroll around here with those little bitty wheels. I guess if the baby falls asleep, you could just set it back and let him stay in it. Tell us about the big, is it a dove? House. They did have pigeons, and pigeons put themselves to bed like chickens do as the sun goes down. So that's when they would be able to go and get pigeons. Ooh. Have you heard the term squab? S Q U A B. The squab is baby, baby pigeons. And one man that toured here said, "Yeah, I had a job as a teenager picking squab. I lasted one day." Aww, <laughs> oh, I don't think I ever want to eat squab. That's oh. awful. Little babies. So they raised them for food. They did. Okay. they did. Not homing pigeons, but food pigeons. Yeah. I'm sorry if I'm yeah. interrupting you. Yeah, I'm just. Now's a lot good. of this stuff um, I've seen before Out at other places. Out there at the fence post on the Excuse corner. Me. Sorry. That's a green color fence. It's warm in there too. It is. It's warmer in the house too. Holy. That's right. We had to do. Yeah. I know. The thing is, I photograph most of the same types of flowers. Oh, that's gonna need a bit of work. But and again, this place wouldn't be. 
place has lasted for what, over a hundred years, and it's still standing. Beautiful flowers. I love that I'm able to photograph things like this. <laughs> Even back then they were slacking. Yes, yeah, they did. <laughs> he had I always thought these pillars were stone. I did not know they were wood. Oh, look at the square nails. They don't even do square nails anymore. I'm curious. I've always thought these old pillars were usually stone. I had no idea they were wood until today when I saw this. Hollow. Look at the square nails. I know. I we like had to replace one. So we kept this portion of this one to show what it was like. And you can see that was one of the, up at the top that had the... And they had to individually cut each piece of wood and slice it in so that it would go in the circle. How about that? And that is incredible. So if you go in the front, and it's a great place for pictures, by the way. You got to have <laughs> on the, on Hello. The columns, that's right. <laughs> on a lot of the houses in Alabama, and excuse me, the ones that are more, excuse me, you know, down in Louisiana. Yeah. Really, oh, look at this. Oh, really? Yes, but this house is not plastic. So I thought they would be solid, and I thought, well, that's dumb. Can you imagine how heavy they would be if they had been solid? So that, that I just wasn't thinking. Yes, they might have a this here's the old well house. Ooh. I think that's some kind of, what is it? That's not like a corn husker where it cut the kernels off the corn. Don't quote me. Ella Bay. Hey, Ella Bay. Is this like an old corn husker right here? I'm just curious, judging by how it looks. I really don't know. Right there. The As you said, you can't obliterate the past. It's still with us. Ooh. Right, no Caterpillar nest. <laughs> Haven't seen one of those in years. Could we go in or? Mm -hmm, or you can go in if you want to. Pop, but come up. I like if I'm able to go into these old buildings if it's in, on a museum. Because I mean. Well, we've got lots of buildings, that's for sure. <laughs> 1840, so this predates the Civil War by uh, how many years? Um, 1861 was the first year of the Civil War, so 21 years. Oh. Come on now, you will too, Owen. Oh, yes, you will. Oh. There we go. It's just stuck from the bottom. There we go. Milk. I know this humidity would cause it to... Uh... It does, yeah. Oh, wow. And I think they still make similar items to this, correct? Oh, yeah. This is, this is a modern one, but it's the same principle. This is an old one that I 
have brads we found pieces of in the barn. Wow. And I go, wait, that goes with the loan and, and bring it over for. That's incredible. You know, and there's, this is reeds. This is called a reed, but it's metal. The reason why it's called a reed is it used to be made out of reeds from the river that they would individually rope in. Oh, wow. Can you imagine? And the th sucker is still in decent shape. Yeah, how about that? I'm just amazed. That's why I like all this old machinery because despite how old it is, it could probably still work. That spinning wheel works great. And that's what I mean. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> that, that. that is the back beam to this. And I'm going to have to get the crew, the grounds crew, to help me lift it in place because it's heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. And those holes right there is how they would they would winch it to tighten it and um, bring the threads forward and then tighten it again and it would be a pole and you'll see the, the one when we go to the ground. Now this is two separate machines. Correct. They're both looms. This one predates this one by a good 200 okay. years. Okay. It's just slot and, pe and, and peg. This part is missing the reed. This part right here that goes back and forth on this one. But if I fix that, I think I can use it. <laughs> I hope so. I'm working on it anyway. You, you use this. You're doing I a good did. job. And I let kids come and, and throw the limits. If anybody wants to sit down and do the pedals, you're welcome to. <laughs> I have one, two, three, four. Oh, wow. Ready? Ready to so press one. one Are these yeah, original DM Ferry Ferry and Company box yeah. tins? There you go. Oh, I love these weird like baskets. They're pretty. See two of them come up, and the okay. next one, two different ones come up. Okay, so you just have to keep. I call it the dance. Yeah, and the pattern tells you what your dance step is. Oh, these are so. These and the are, color comes in from what you go sideways with, and the threads that you have brought through this way. Hmm. You can do stripes. You can do twills. You can do. A lot of different patterns. If you have four, you can do a lot of patterns. If you have two, you can do basically just over under. How did you learn how to do it? There is a Disney movie called The Three Lives of Thomasina about a cat that um, dies and comes back and so forth. And he's brought back um, by this Ooh. woman in the woods. And the kids all think she's a witch because all this thumping goes on in her cabin. She's a weaver. <laughs> and she rescues animals. And I thought, that's what I want to be when I grow up. So there you go. <laughs> Disney did it to me. I'm curious. Is this some kind of, is this a basically a large... Is this a fig? Ah. Fig tree. Yeah. I'm glad you told me because I was about to say, was it a tomato tree? <laughs> I'm glad that you told me. Otherwise, I would have looked like a very stupid. <laughs> It's a little late this year. It's just, it's just thread, and it's mm -hmm. different yarns and threads. It depends on. But the spinning wheel, you, you spun the stuff before you did that. Yeah, you want to see the spinning wheel? Well, I. Oh. This. I know these would have been. I've seen some that had a pedal on them at some point. Right. Some were cranked, some were handmade. Right. This one is called a walking wheel because you walk it back and then you walk it forward and ah but hence the string here is the yarn i mean the wool oh. before it's spun and that's from my own sheep and how did they get the, the wool wow. in that shape so they went through a process before they, that i guess they brushed it just brushed it mm -hmm. they brushed it or combed it and that um, way it would actually get fine enough yeah they washed it first and then brushed it and, in, and believe it or not, there are people that still do it today. And I'm wondering. Come on now. All right, I'm going to put you on this, this one here. There we go. There. May have to be directly center for it to work. <laughs> it, it does not like humidity. Well. Come on, baby. Come on. There it goes, part of it. It has to be tighter. Much tighter. Let's try this one. Oh, oh, and then you oh. throw your, your cord, girl. Here. I got it, thank you. All right. Oh. I thought it did. 
here. Maybe doing it slowly might get it. Uh, I got the job done, but it was temperamental. There it goes. There it goes. It's like third time's the charm, and it works. And it's just putting a twist into it. See that twist? That's yarn happening right there. I'm going to make it a little bit skinnier so I don't have fat yarn. Sorry, I didn't know if I was in. I, and then back it up. Sorry. Forward onto the bobbin and then back it up. I'm sorry. Picture. This is what spin, uh, Spinning Beauty pricked her finger on. Yes, that was yeah. it. Yes, exactly right. Yes. So as it, it falls off that tip, it's putting a twist into it. So what Rumpel Skilt Scan used to spin straw into go. <laughs> Dang, if I could do that. Now if I was that good. You'd I'd be a be very rich, rich lady. Yeah. Yes. That is incredible that that still can work despite yeah. it being over what, a hundred years old in this one? Yeah. This these this kind is, is older than the foot pedal kind. And they would spin um, flax, and they would use that for fishing line because flax is twenty percent. Whoops, twenty percent stronger when it's wet. And I see that that broke right there, so I'm not. Why you don't fix that? <laughs> and then. Well, that house is pretty, the way it's set into the woods. That's the one that was moved. It was on the other side of the brick house, on the other side of 78, okay. before they did the runway. And that oh. started the whole thing, is moving that one. That one and then mm -hmm. the rest of it. That's, that how Tif that's how Tifton came about. One house, moving. Yeah. And it's sort of become a sort of an idea as to what, well, not an idea, excuse me. It, I think they have like an area that shows like Georgia in the 1830s, the 1850s, into like the early 1900s. Oh, Neo. I like that. That's a good idea. I've been itching to go back to see all their steam powered equipment running. Oh, we have Cottonwood. And we have one with all its pieces. And it needs a, a hit or miss engine or something. Ah. With a belt to run it. And it's like. Someday, I'm going to find a well, way to get it going. Well, I mean, if you can't find a steam engine, you could use an electric engine that does the same RPM as the steam engine. I could. It wouldn't be the same. I'd rather use a mule. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be better and there wouldn't be a lot of smoke. There wouldn't be a lot of smoke. Now, what is this? This is when they first came Ooh, to Georgia. They got a Revolutionary War land grant because they fought for Georgia. Thousand acres, I'd give it two. And um, there was nothing here. So they put up log cabins just as fast as they could. Now, like the that? Log cabin burned down. And it was probably flat down on the ground, round logs with the bark still on them. I mean, they had no shelter when they first moved here. Wow. Um, so but we found this one in another corner of Wilkes County and brought it here to show how it would have been. But this is a, a scale cabin, it's got a flow work. And a winder. <laughs> and squared off logs and siding. Well, and Alloy's probably just had the most quickest log cabin you could put up. Is that one of the logs there? Or is that showing what one would have looked like? That is what we have a guy that comes and does the ads, A D Z, and taking the bark off the logs. Ah. He does it the old fashioned way, and that's what he did last time. Oh. Ah. We have mule days on the second Saturday in October. All those old uh -huh. 
1790. Nineteen ninety would have went been when this thing turned two hundred. Wow, that sucker's incredible. Is that a well over there? See it? Let me zoom in on it. Might be some sort of grill. I'll go look at that when I'm going to get a chance to. Oh. Maybe if they're free. This on the is floor. the original 1870, 1785 milk paint. Oh. Wow. Milk and lime. Wow. Now it smells like spoiled milk we're going to mine. That guy. That's yeah. what I heard. Yeah. Well. If it's protected, it really does last this long. Kids upstairs, parents mm -hmm. downstairs, still yep. some Indian things coming. Right. I mean, when they got here, you could get three things in town. Tobacco, gunpowder, and whiskey. That is it. And it was, you know, it gradually started after 1785. It started building into a town. But it was a bunch of nothing before that. <laughs> I noticed a little um, square thing out there towards the edge of the woods. Was that an old well or what was that? That is probably the still that we use for turpentine on, on Mule Day. And the reason why ah. it's over there is because it sinks to high heaven. Ah, that and you kind of try to keep it that way of all the crowd. That explains that, it. Yeah, turpentine was one of the things that they had as a export product right away when they came to Georgia. Tons of pines and everything. But what they don't tell you is it stinks. <laughs> it it stinks. so bad. And does it smell, you mean just like regular turpentine? Of course, I smell it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess when you got enough of it going. That's yeah. right. And it, you have the, um, and, and, you know, the, the, sap from the trees and the tar and all that. Ooh, man, it does. It, some black smoke and a lot of stink, you yeah. know. Kids slept upstairs, parents downstairs. All this iron they would have brought with them because there was no blacksmith in town. Well, one man used to be in Georgia legislature, which was in Milledgeville at that time. He'd close up his house and go do lawmaking and then come back. One time he came Ooh, back, wow. his house had burned to the ground. Ooh. Which, he went home, so... Why did it burn to the ground? Makes you wonder. <laughs> many years later, his neighbor confessed to burning his house for the nails. Oh, oh. for the nails. Oh. The iron nails. Oh. Yeah. Wow. The women back then were shorter, too, weren't they? Yes. In the, in the Smithsonian, the inaugural dresses of the First Ladies go like stair steps. Yeah, I would have been tall. When I know we're period <laughs> correct, aren't we? Yes. I just noticed this little jug right here. <laughs> oh, now that was for peach brandy. That was one of their big products in Wilkes County. That's incredible. But the Baptist religion swept through. They had been, they came down Methodist, but then they turned Baptist. That's incredible. Did not want to get rid of their brandy. So they called themselves Peach Brandy Baptist, and it was medicinal. <laughs> that's perfect. First thing in the morning, they take a shot. Oh, well, that's one way to get up and get going. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, early, early antler up there. I just not noticed that. And this is kind of neat. Of course, they did their own shoes. This shoe was hand stitched. See it? Yeah. And then sometime after 1850, it was machine repaired. Look how many times it's been resold. Good heavens. Wow. Passed down, passed pass down, passed down. Pass That's down. incredible and it's still thick. They used some thick leather back then. They still sort of do in some shoes. It's just hard to find. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's hard to find wear, a repair place. They didn't wear shoes much, did they? No. Yeah. There's a picture of the Ooh. schools in 1920 and it's all the students and everything. You can and tell this is hand forged. Yeah. Well, mm. I started teaching school in 1971, and that's when we started the rule that said you had to wear shoes to school. Really? Really? Oh my goodness. You can that tell the latch is hand forged. Ah! Yeah, about that. Yeah. And yeah. she had a uh, show and tell thing where it's like, you know, old latch. She had a um, student who brought a rooster into class once for show and tell. <laughs> Not a chicken, but a rooster? Yes. Oh, that's awesome. 
Right. Could you tell them? Um, used to, girls had to wear dresses right. with pants on them. Right. If, if it was cold. Now we just pray they wear clothes. Yeah, <laughs> hey, Ella B, tell her about the kid who brought the uh, rooster in for show and tell. Yes, yes, I had a child bring a rooster for show. Not a chicken, kids. but a rooster. A rooster. Oh, that's. A by, yeah, live that's in a box. Crazy. And the bus driver let him bring it. <laughs> on the bus. And it didn't bother y'all for until lunch and then lunch it just time. crowed. It was that is so funny. Yes, brought a rooster. Show and tell. But it's not as bad as that kid who brought the kid. The end of the baby. Oh, oh wow. Oh look at these photos. Our wood was really deteriorating and all the blankets and quilts were deteriorating from being so hot. Because we can't open the windows. I have to terrify the one that says I'm gonna open this door and there'll be a skunk right there. Ooh. <laughs> so we kind of keep it closed yes. up. Tiny chair. Yes. Tiny chair. Now. This? Oh, no, not this. See oh. these wear marks right here? Oh. This is how the babies learn to walk. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Look at that. So if you go in an antique store, do you see that wet rear right there? So That's a, um, I was wondering if it was a fire blower or some kind of bucket, but it, it had, is has a, a divider in it. Oh, Ah, so that explains the divider. Keep things warm, and if it got hot enough, you can bake biscuits on that shelf that's in there. Ah, uh, <laughs> it reflects that heat, a reflector of it. Really? Oh, that's a pretty clock. I like the painting in the bottom of it. That's pretty. I don't know much about that clock. I know about one upstairs. I've never seen one of those. I know, of course, you spin the wool up there. Did they process the cotton down here? Like you didn't see anything? Oh yeah, they did a lot of cotton. They did cotton. They took the seeds. out. you can feel how many seeds are in there. They took the seeds out for the quilt bag. They did the threads with it. They wove with it. They did linen too, which is the flax plants, that inner fibery part of the stem. Yeah, the How do you get this out? Fred bowl. Oh, Ooh, look at this. Look at this. You can, you can brush it, but this is how they got the cotton out. They pulled oh. every individual seed. Is that a verse from the Bible? Yep. Or is that, that part? It's not a part. Like the rotten gin deseeded it as well as picked it. It didn't pick it. It just deseeded it. Oh, it did. Yeah, the people had to pick it. July 1st, 1864. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Into, into. Wow. What was the first machine that, that harvested it? I don't know. But I know that my mother in the 40s was picking cotton by hand. So mm. it had to be in the 50s, if not later, that, that, that they did the uh, machine picking. Yeah. <laughs> I think my mom's mother and her cousins, when they were growing up, I think they were still out picking cotton by hand. And a lot of teenagers did as a, of course. Sort of a late job. They still have breaks in the fall. For, the school would get out yes. during cotton picking time. And winder, a uh, barrel pan, still has a fall break left over from those times when they would let the kids out in October, beginning of October. We had a fall break in Kentucky. Mm. Well, <laughs> they, bring, they, they did start school in August because that was the lie and buy time. It was like, you can't pick it yet, you can't do it, you've already gotten the weeds out of it, you're just waiting on it. So they go ahead and start school and then they let out again for the, for the picking. Well, I know my mom's mother is 60, so I don't know exactly what year that would have been when they were picking cotton. Right. Oh, there's another bird's nest. Well, a man came through who does the modern kind of picking, you know, with a combine. And his neighbor still picks by hand. Oh, wow. He would, the neighbor would go past the modern machinery and see all the leftover cotton yes. seen in yes. the fields. And he'd go, you're wasting what God gave you. You're wasting what God gave you. <laughs> I know. When Ella B and I were traveling around southwest Georgia, we saw all these cotton fields where they had picked it. You won't believe how much cotton was still left you out in the field. Mean, it continued, <laughs> those bowls continue to open up into December. So you can pick it and come back and get more. Because that plant keeps keeps producing that those bowls until frost. Oh. Wow. Some guys in the National Weather Warehouse down there, we decided they wanted to from Mississippi. And he told me when they were in high school, their job was oh, look at the pictures like, here. pickers and went through, they'd pick what they missed, you know, at the end and all that. I bet that, that. They, yeah. I guess they paid, I'm sure they paid them to do it. That was their, I bet they did. Their jobs. Well, I guess it still goes on, so. I think so. I think so. I know that I like picking it out here, but. I don't have to pick it clean. That's not my job. <laughs> 1789 to 1882. Hello, yeah. yeah. Baptist yeah. preachers. Yeah. Amen. It's a tough job. Amen to them. Live Baptist preachers. That's yes. The Bible box had Bible, the first and everything. They 
I think we're going upstairs. Can I go on up there? Is that what in their way? It's not. If I'm going to go and go up there, I'll be in their way. Bless you. Wow. I couldn't get the bottom lock to do, and I couldn't go home until it was locked up, and I went and got the biggest skeleton key. It did fine. And it did. You would think it'd be all rusted through. Yes. No. Nope. It did fine. <laughs> That's incredible. Isn't that some? See, that's what I mean. This stuff was built to last and still do its job. Like, oh, what, 200 years now after yep. it was built? So at 1990 would have been when this place turned 200, or, right? Right. Come on up. Y'all welcome to my climb and I'll tell you how it looks. Stairs are a bit iffy. Wow, look at all this. And here's a huge loom. Wow, this is amazing. I think this is the oldest house I've ever been in. 1790. And look at the loom. This is what the other one looks like. And look at these clocks with these paintings. I love this. God, these are pretty. I do not know what to say. I'm impressed. Really, I am. So quiet too. Now here's something we don't get taught anymore: cursive. And to think they don't even teach us cursive anymore. Shows you where the time is gone. I'm, that's why I can't do a signature. Thank you. Oh, baby cradle. Yeah, baby cradle. So the big room was for boys. They had five boys, two girls. The next one had four boys, three girls. The next one had six boys, oh, three girls. So it so, alternated. Right, big room for the boys. Little room for the girls. This one. Here's another uh, back and forth spinning wheel. I bet if she tries these through these in January when it's colder, it'll work. Look at all these old bottles. This is incredible. They don't even make bottles like this anymore. Now, what would this have been? Early scissors. Those are some serious garden scissors, boy. I'm filming it. I love the quilts. That's I, the cat door, so the cat can go up and take care of the mice. It's original. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's a tiny cat. Isn't that cute? <laughs> that is a very small cat. Yeah. I don't, well, there were small people, maybe they had small cats. Too. Yes. Unless, <laughs> unless the cat ate well better than the people. Well, that's just it. They didn't do like cat food and everything. It was what you caught. Yes. Yeah. Right. I'm sure the cat was really well off. Probably they had, you know, they kept, they kept cats to keep <laughs> the rats away, the mice away, the snakes away, all that good stuff. Yeah, try finding a cat that's that good at keep doing its job. Yeah. I've never seen a cat take on a snake before, and I've heard about it. Sydney oh, I have. Mine would bring, bring yeah. it to me. Yeah. Yeah. Sydney would take on the snakes. Um, well, I know. Well, I don't remember Sydney. I know to I remember your cat Topaz, and I know Oreo tries to yeah. has killed birds before. Every cat we've had has killed birds. Yeah, I did that too. Yeah. Take on cat. Snakes. Now, when were these photos taken this of the house? Right before 1960. Oh, it was right wow. before we moved the house. All these porches came off, and this whole addition came off, which was on this side. 
Now those boards were never made or never compromised into a door. To get into that section, they had to go out this door, that door right there, and through the in that door. So I'm thinking like mother-in-law apartment or something like that. Yeah. You know. Um, wow. And I wonder if that's a rabbit hutch right there. I, don't know. I think it might. <laughs> It might be. It might be. I or think it is. Coop. Could be a chicken coop. Well, I think that we have a rabbit pen. We don't have a rabbit anymore, but that, it's built that way. So How often way. have I heard that? And these shutters, we we had no glass left when we moved it. So this is not the original glass, and we don't know um, what was, the original, whether it was 6 over 6 or 9 over 9 or whatever. But ha there was no glass blower when they were here. They had to get every individual frame of glass, pane of glass, from Savannah or Augusta, mm -hmm. packed in boxes, packed in straw, over dirt roads, horse-drawn wagon. It's a miracle that it didn't break. Exactly. I wonder how many did. Well, then again, it was hand, it would have been blown glass that would have been pressed, so, and a lot of the time, that glass is from a little bit thicker. Bigger. You think it would be thicker? Yeah, that, and it would have been a bit more durable than what they have now. Well, maybe that. Maybe. I don't know, though. <laughs> There's always a story about a cemetery. <laughs> well, Miss Martha died before Aristides, even though he was 34 and she was 16 when they got married. She was buried next to the one that didn't make it, Arthur. He yeah. lived to about, about two. And uh, her family got mad, dug her up, and took her to their plot. Aristides got mad, dug her up from there, brought her back, and paved it so she wasn't going anywhere. <laughs> That's I'm some very walk on now if you want to. Serious. Absolutely. <laughs> that's serious. a that's Absolutely. a very devoted husband if he wants her wife his wife to not be leaving his side. Well, I think they never did like him trying to get her away from him, but well, so, that's how love back then was. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe you're gonna marry my sixteen year old daughter. Well, that's all right, I'll get her at the end. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's just funny. A that's just a guess. <laughs> Y'all want to come in the country store, cool off, settle yeah. up. That'd be nice. It is air conditioned, I guarantee. Tour, plugging her nose. Oh, yeah. Because it, she didn't like the way old house smelled. Oh. Bless her home. Oh, I, I don't care about the smell. That's what I love about these old houses. Yeah. Little it, little old. Each house has its own character, and that includes <laughs> the smell. That's true, that's true. You did a marvelous job. I love this job. Yeah. I, yes, <laughs> we can tell. That, that is so is. funny. The 1971 is when you started to have the rule of work. Yeah. And I'm glad to have a grandmother who was a teacher. There you go. Yeah. I, I was mainly just for like kindergarten and first and second graders that they didn't understand why they had to wear shoes. And they didn't ordinarily have to. Right. Yes. Right. And so it was really interesting. Uh, Ooh, early time magazine. Miss Gail would want to see this. Oh, uh, yes. I wonder what the dates would be. Where, where? The dates should be on the front. Mm -hmm. Well, not on these. Now, hold on. Just, what's it say there? 1953. How old would you have been? Uh, four. Because my brother was born in 1953. I love all the old stuff that they have in these. I've always... Because, you know, you see all these old abandoned general stores and wonder, you know, okay, how much What's of this? In it? Yeah. I hate it. You'd never get to the chance because you'd probably never get permission most yeah, of the time. That's right. Okay. Old coffee grinder. That would have been a cheese cutter. That's right. That's right. That would have been a scale, probably for large dry goods. Mm -hmm. Your wood stove, which would have probably actually been coal, correct? Yes. No, that one's wood and I've used it. Ah. Our Yes. It works better than the heater. Yes, exactly right. <laughs> oh, and of course, you've got the old phone. Wait a minute, wait a minute. And you've got the old phone. I love this. 
I've seen one at an antique store on Olympic Drive, and it still had all the uh, interior equipment still in it. The bells and crank even still worked. I'm curious. I've never seen this thing before. What would this be? This. It's a cream separator. Ooh. Waiting for the cream to rise to the top. They would go ahead and put it in the cream separator by centrifugal force. So it essentially would have had like a, high, a, a cylinder in it, right? Which would have forced the cream up? Uh, it, no. It's just by the, by the cream is heavier. Therefore, it's going to sling uh, out first. Yes. Uh, left behind would sling out second. Hence the crank. Okay. You ready? I'm off the print. Okay. That would look good. Okay. We take credit cards if you prefer. Something to do with corn, I imagine. Ah. This probably would have been the tr feeding trough. I could be wrong on that, so don't quote me on it. Got all your old farming equipment here, because keep in mind, most of this would have been pulled by horses or mules or oxen if they had any. So evidently, I'm pretty sure the smokehouse would have had something in it. Maybe when it, if we ever come back, because you know we could always come back and you know, see if we could do the other structures. So yeah, they still grow some stuff. All right, LB. I think they would let you go in the smokehouse, but we could probably come back and do that. You know what? Oh yeah, they did. But they were talking about that. I I know. She, I was hearing the tour guide. Oh wow! Let's give the. <laughs> well, if he was looking for an anvil, he got one. And if he needs a new blower, and I'm talking about the blacksmith in Biltmore. Oh, they had something similar. This a bit similar to this in Cass, but. Of course, at Biltmore, you know, the cold coke was actually on like a tray. It wasn't put in underneath. So that's new for me. Right, look at all this. Three and four anvils. Two blowers. That sucker. So these two must still be in use. There's your blacksmith's uh, carving stone. Three wood scraps and a... Uh, ah, yes. Draw coal or coal coke. I'm thinking this is probably charcoal, judging by it. Yeah, that's charcoal. Or it could be normal coal. I don't even know. It's some kind of coal because it has something to do with that. And here's the rest of the shop. Oh, dang. Six anvils? Are you kidding? Wow. Oh! LB. You've got yourself an old feather duster. I've got to show her this. It's a literal feather duster. That's good. That's a good one. Hey. You got. You may want to see this. I found a literal feather duster. Did you? I got a feather. Yes. <laughs> no joke. Oh, I didn't notice the gravestone. Okay. It's right there. Uh, you know, you know, you can come in, right? There it is. Yeah. Oh, hey, buddy. Okay, come on. That's good. Hang on. Hang on. I just finished up. There's an old cart to carry the cotton bales. I'm glad they had a cotton bale in here to even show it. I'm curious though, that wouldn't be normal coal coke. I know they'd use, I don't know if that's what they'd use for steel making and whatnot. Probably would be, I don't know. Is, there's another smoker right there. Oh, did you notice the cart? Oh. They still have a cat out here. He's a happy kid. Hang on, I'm going to look at the cart. 
<laughs> hey. <laughs> Cute cat. <laughs> That's pretty incredible that they still have a cart here. <laughs> Guys, you can see a better view of the uh, pigeon house there. Now, would that have been the schoolhouse? All right, I want to look at this. Oh, hang on. This wouldn't be a smoker at all. This must be something you'd see in like a sugar mill. I don't know, but I know this would be something that they would use in some kind of milling or something. I don't know. I don't even know. This would have been a corn crib here. Don't know about the other barn though. It must have been used for something. Oh. Ah. Oh, hello. If you're wondering about that, that's actually a bottle of water in my pocket. I think the barn would have been used to store tools and whatnot. Yeah, I think so. I was going to say, try and go down on my side, it might be a bit better. I don't know if the thing is open. I mean, she may have just forgotten. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> look at the old uh, wood seesaw. Yes. There wouldn't have been a real hinge on that one, so you'd have to just go on and pray you didn't go off the log. <laughs> you know it? Those are the handles. I know. They still have a school desk. Excuse me, teacher, am I late? Yeah. You can tell the glass is original. Yeah, it is. Taking up, and keep in mind this is just how different this one looks com when compared to the one in Tifton. Yeah, but look at those flat bones in there. That's exactly right. So the children could put them up against the wall and make them grow. <laughs> Well, they even still have chalk on the walls here. <laughs> Evidently, the seesaw has seen better days. It's a kind of a... Uh... There's Washington crossing the Delaware. Oh, yes. That's serious. I'm curious. Does the piano work? I wonder if it's a player piano. No, it's not a player. I'm telling you right now, it's not a player. Oh, well, usually they'd have these... Oh, I learned to play a piano. Play the piano. And it still and it still works. Hopefully that's not signs of water damage. I don't think it would be. Look at that. Look how the desks were. Look at the uh, feathers. Did you notice the feathers? Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. This but, is for entertainment. Yeah, this is that must have been day get these toys out. These are the toys that the children would have played with. So I mean uh, did they do reenactments out here? So yeah. what it would have been like? I don't think they she would because be. Because they have arts and crafts. Oh. Now I'm wondering what this would have been. I'm not sure. Maybe it would have been one of an early like gym stand, you know, where people could do like chin up. You'd have to be very, you'd have to be very nimble to reach something that yes. tall. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. Okay. There's another thing out here. Yeah. Probably for another smoking process or something. I don't know. How are you holding up? We're doing okay. We're walking shade to shade. Oh, 
there's two other, there's two more of those houses there. And I think there's, I know this is the rocks. I might, I know, I wonder, could that have been a chimney pile? Some of the times, you know, those rock chimneys when they collapse. Yeah. Even the old brick chimneys when they collapse, they do that. They just fall in and create a pile. Must do something in here. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I have a fear of like bugs that have like stingers on them. Now, what would this have been? Oh, I bet this would have been a cot some kind of cotton gin, which would have had mules to move it around. Oh no, I bet those are out. Those, are, I think, are old outhouses. They're built to look like them. Ah. Uh, yeah, that is a chimney pile because you can see the bricks. Yeah. That's what happens to most of these old chimneys is they, um, if they're not taken care of, they're just you know, neglected. They just collapse. To a pile. Yeah. There's probably hundreds of them for that. Piles like this. The yeah, but I don't want to go in if you said there's snakes. And I know you don't want to yeah, either. Well, I might do that if it's unlocked. Yeah. Or I could probably go just utilize the windows to see inside. If there's shade, since there is shade, I might just do that. Eighteen hundred. Have an old table out here. Mm -hmm. Look at the shingles, they're wood shingles. Oh, you talk about renovation. You're kidding. They mean it. And this which door is it? Is it this door? Yes. Actually, I don't think we're supposed to be in here. But you can see. You can see how the wood. But you can see. I know I'm not supposed to really go in this way, but uh -huh. you can see there's a how the walls would have been made. These yeah. there would have been wooden slats, and they would have been stuffed with newspaper. Uh, That's why a lot of these houses, a lot of these really big ones, are so hard to restore now because uh -huh. they're. They're what Mimi calls money pits. Yeah, they are. Because, you know, you have to put new insulation in them. You can still see the plaster. See, they had plaster on the walls. They didn't stuff it with newspaper. See the plasters well, on the, the walls? Well, that's on the outside of the walls. The inside and between the wood slats oh, would have been. They, well, they wouldn't have stuffed in the newspaper because they wouldn't have had newspaper. They stuffed in with mud, maybe. Or, or, well, they would have stuffed it with something. I know they wouldn't have had insulation back then. And you wouldn't use mud because they wouldn't have had... Oh, the deck is bowed in. And look at that. That's actually a slatted, a slatted deck. See the slat? Yeah, this was probably replaced. No, no, no. They won't. This wasn't. I don't think this was original. Well, you never know. It could have been. Okay. Or I think I think you might be right about it being replaced, though. But because look out here, you see the the old banisters out here. Not banisters, or whatever they're called. But could you look? They have them inside. And I don't know if that's for this. It can't be for the stairs. Did you see how many there are? This was probably for the porch. Uh, yes, those were for the porch. See how weathered they are. Yeah. yeah. And what about this table, though? Oh, no, that's, I just brought that down here for so somebody can sit here during the meal day <laughs> and tell people what's going on. Good. Okay. And that is about it. Yep. Thank you. Solid eye.